Hi, this video is meant to show you how you can upload files into your Moodle course from an iPad or documents you've made in QuickOffice. So the first way is if you have access to your computer ahead of time and you know what documents you'll need, um, and this is going to be if you just have a collection of documents, I would suggest using Google Docs, now called du Google Drive. So to get to our Google Docs, you have two ways to do this. One is to go to our website and then scroll down to the bottom and click on the Gmail link. And from there, it'll ask you to sign in if you aren't already. So I'm going to sign in as myself. And it's already filling in, so I'll just put that in. It's saving my password, and I'm going to sign in. This page. It'll load, and there's your mail. So what you can do is go to Drive. It may give you a pop-up saying, do you want to convert to Drive? Just say yes to anything it does. It won't hurt you. Um, then you can either create a document if you don't have one, or you can upload files. And you can pick out a whole folder full of files. So I'm going to go here. So I could pick out all of these documents if I wanted to. But for right now, I'm just going to do one. And then you'll hit open, and it'll start uploading them. So you can honestly upload all the documents you have up to five gigabytes, which is a ton of stuff. So let's say I put hundreds and hundreds of documents here. Then I have access to them. One, I could get the Google Drive app for my iPad um, and use that, or I can get to them from any computer I want to. Now for this next part, we're going to need to be on our iPad, so we're going to switch over real quick. All right, for this next part on the iPad, you're going to need to go to Moodle and log in, which I've already done. Then I'm going to go to my course. So I'm going to take a couple extra clicks just because I'm on an admin account. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a resource or an activity that requires a file. So I'm just going to add resource file. All right, I give it a basic name. I'm just going to call it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to give it a description. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Excellent. There's my description. Now I scroll down and I'm going to get rid of the keyboard and I'm going to click on add for select files it's going to pop up and I'm going to click on Google Docs on the left you'll see where I click there it'll take just a moment to load it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking and what it'll do is I'm going to log out this is what it'll show you at first is click login button to log in kinda of intuitive there so I click login and it opens a new browser and I'm just going to start from scratch and say I'm signing out. Now what you'll do is you'll actually sign in to your same Google account. And the cool thing is it'll remember this later on, so you want it to do this every time you add a document. So it's going to take me just a moment, so do, 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 I'm going to type this in. All right, I signed in. Sorry, I didn't want people to see my password there. So now I've logged in. Now I'm going to go back here, I'm going to click, I went back to the other tab, just see I did that, in case it doesn't give you a thing to log back in. So I'm going to close that, click login again. It's asking online.spcc is requesting access. I'm going to grant access, the blue button, right there. Now, everything I've loaded up in my Google Docs shows up. And I can pick out uh, anything I want, select this file and now it's loaded. So that's kind of a quick way you can use Google Docs to get to your uh, documents and upload them to Moodle. Now, if you create something in QuickOffice, you can still do this method. So what you would have to do is in your QuickOffice app right there, oops, you would need to open it, QuickOffice Pro, and you would actually add your Google account like I did over here, the fourth one down. And you would do that by clicking let me move the screen way at the bottom there. Oops. Way at the bottom there, you'll see a plus sign right there. And you can add Google Drive. And then you log into your Google Drive account with that username at students.spcc.edu. And 
Then, any files you add here or create in QuickOffice and add them to your Google Drive, you can then put them into Moodle. So that's the other way you can do it. All right, so all I've done is I logged into my Google Drive account. Once again, didn't want to see my password. Um, and it says your Google Drive has been granted. So I'm going to click Continue. Now, once you've tied your Google Drive to QuickOffice, I can open it. Then I can go to the very bottom and I can, I'm going to scoot this up a little so you can see it. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little button that I'm highlighting in the bottom right to make a new document. I'm just going to make a document in 07010 format, type in a bunch of gibberish, and I'm going to close, and I'm going to save, and I'm going to make sure I select over here on the left my drive account. If you want to put it in a folder, you can, but I'm just going to put it in the root, and I'm going to leave it as untitled, and hit save. It's uploading it to my Google Drive. Now, I'm done with that. I close this out real quick. Now I'm going to go back to Moodle just to show you that it did work. So I'm going to open my browser. I'm already in Moodle and add file assignment. So I'm going to click Add. Click on Google Docs. And you'll see there's my untitled document up there in the upper left. I'm highlighting it right now. So I can click on it select this file. I don't need that. Select this file. And there it is. It's in my Moodle course directly from QuickOffice. So that's it. You have two ways. One, if you add the documents from your computer. A second, if you add them to your Google Drive documents through this method. Either way, and you'll be able to upload them into Moodle.